Hi, this is Happy Bird from Happy Bird's Glitter Nest .com. and today I'm going to show you how to make some adorable little Christmas wreath um, ornaments out of uh, simple clear acrylic Dollar Tree shower curtain rings or you can also buy them from Walmart and I used Dollar Tree miniature um, garland tinsel that they have um, for Christmas right now and I also used um, pearl fishing line in this one along with the little rose fishing line I'll show you how I did that and with these I just glued individual acrylic beads and pearls and I also have a link where you can find these beautiful little birds very inexpensive and of course I added these little bows that I found on eBay as well. So I'll show you how to make these. They really are a lot of fun to make and um, they're not difficult to do at all. So we'll get started. Okay so the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need some clear shower curtain rings and I bought this pack at Walmart. It's the Mainstays brand but you could pick up any clear shower rings that you can find. So I'm going to set that aside and they'll be open here at the top so all you have to do is just hook it closed and we're going to start up here this will be our top but it will end up being our bottom like that now you're going to need some tinsel garland and this is for the miniature trees I picked these up at Dollar Tree last week and I've already used quite a bit out of here but each one has 20 feet of tinsel garland and they have little stars on them like that. Very flexible. They also have this in red but I didn't pick up red at the time. So you're going to need about 25 to 26 inches of the garland. So I'm going to measure this out. Let's see here. So I ended up measuring about 26 inches just for the heck of it. And put all this back here at the end of it. <clears throat> okay. So I'm just going to take my hot glue gun and start it right here at the top. Put a little strip of glue there and just lay this on top until it cools. I'm going to tap it in there. Blow on it. Okay. So we're just going to wrap this on around. I'm not going to pull it really tight. I'm just going to wrap it around to where each piece like this of the tinsel garland is laying right next to the other. Like that. Not on top, but next to each other. But your whole goal is just to cover the ring. And you can use so many things besides the tinsel garland. You can use fabric, you can use lace, you can take pieces of tulle and um, tie them all the way around in little strips, make it look kind of like a ballerina skirt. <laughs> There's all things you can use, um, metallic eyelash yarn. So you just keep going around like this. I really like the little stars on this. I think it just gives it a little something extra. I'll have to go back to the Dollar Tree and pick up some more of this stuff. 
can also use the tensile pipe cleaners, not, not the small skinny ones, but they have fat ones around Christmas time. So many different things you can wrap this with. And if you have any ideas of your own, be sure to write it down in the comment section below. Okay, so there's a little bit of space here. So I'm going to cut about an inch and just to wrap around this part here. But I'm going to glue this down first. Let me get about, cut about an inch of this or so. <clears throat> I think I'm going to cut more like two inches. Yeah. And it just depends on how you wrap it, um, how you end up. I've use 25 inches and it covered everything perfectly and I've cut 26 inches and I've had to go back and add a couple of inches yeah, so let's there so that's covered and like I said this top will end up our bottom and we'll be covering this with a bow. So the next thing we're going to do <clears throat> is I'm going to use this pearl fishing line stuff. That's what they that's what a lot of the Chinese sellers call it, pearl line. So um, this one has two different sizes, pearls of course, which I really like. And you can buy these for like five yards in a package or ten yards for a few dollars and generally free shipping. They have them in all colors. I have cream, I have pink, and I have some of this left. This was originally five yards that I bought and it has little roses on it and pearls. So I might add that in there afterwards. I'll show you how to do that and I'll make a couple of different ones here to give you an idea of just different things that you can do. So, I'm going to cut this little piece of fishing line, I'll call it fishing line, and I'm going to measure out about 25 inches of this. Here. Okay. And once again, where you end up depends on how you decide to wrap this. So I'm going to start the same part here at the top that I originally glued. Was that the top or was that the bottom? Let's see. Yeah, here's the top. Just going to lay this down and just let it cool for a few seconds. I say the top, but I'm actually gluing it facing the front, this pearl right here. Okay, I'm just going to hold on to that and just wrap this around like so, not tight. Just wrap it around. It's not going to be a hundred percent perfect. But if you start by gluing the pearl in the front instead of on the top, 
then generally the pearls will lay towards the front, the big ones, generally. Like so. And if you don't want to do that, if you find that um, you would rather just cut this apart, you can also do that and just keep gluing, but I think it would look a little messy that way. So that's why I do it this way. And I'm not pulling tight, I'm just wrapping. You see the pearls? The big pearls are landing in the front. And I'm going to end up with this pearl like that in the front too. So I'm just going to take my my glue gun and we're back here at the top where we started and I'm going to just set that there for a few minutes I'm holding it until this dries a little bit You want it to cut this. If you want it to, you could just leave it just like this, and it would be pretty. Just to add a bow at the bottom, but I'm going to give it a little pop of color, and I have a little bit of this left, so I'm going to measure out about 25 inches of this too, and I can give you the link. To this, I'm pretty sure my seller has um, has this still. I said you can do this a couple of different ways. You can just cut off the roses and then just wrap the pearls around and then put the roses towards the front or you can just keep the roses on the or start the roses on the front like this and then just see where you where you end up. So um, I think what I'm going to do on this one is I'm just going to go ahead and place the roses at the front. So I'm going to kind of feel around as to where the top part is. And let's see. Pretty sure it's up here. It's a little hard. Oh, there it is. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue on the front here. And place my rose right here. And just kind of hold it down for a few seconds. I'm going to hold my finger on this anyway. And then I'm just going to wrap this around like so. I'll cut that little piece off here later on. And this will give it a nice little pop of color. I 
think I'm going to put that about, about, about here, yeah. Okay, so this is on the back part, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some hot glue right here, just a little bit, just to glue this red pearl down. Then I'm going to cut this off, and I'll show you why. This is a little bit irregular, this uh, rose trim here, rose pearl trim. So now I'm just going to cut this off here. And as you can tell, you can see the red pearls pretty much throughout here now. But I'm going to cut this little rose off and glue this in the front. Maybe here, here, and here. I'll show you what I mean by irregular. Okay. See, these two are close together, this is far apart, and so it makes it a little more uneven when you're wrapping it. Whereas the other pearl trim that I used um, was a lot more even as far as the spacing. I mean, and that's not a big deal because you can always fix it like I'm showing you here. Put one here and then maybe one here. can use this part right down here yeah for the bottom of the wreath pretty sure yeah or is it here it's hard to tell sometimes yeah that'll work for the bottom of the wreath and I can go back in and cut these little pieces off careful though. Probably should have done this before it glued the roses on, but already. And then this one here. There we go. So that looks fine. As you all know, if you've been following me for a while, I am far from great at tying bows. <laughs> so you can do it a couple of different ways. You can buy these bows like I did on eBay. Just put it down here like that, which 
I think that probably looks the prettiest. Or you can buy some organza ribbon at um, the Dollar Tree and just tie it into a bow and then put it right here. And if you get this kind, you don't have to worry about which is the front and which is the back on the bow. So I'm just going to go ahead and use one of these that I purchased. Now I noticed that when I put this here, it kind of covers up this one rose here for some reason. But I think what I'll do is I'll just nip that off for now and just put this like so. Yeah, I think that will work. So I'm, I'm going to put some hot glue here on the back. They also have bows, the Dollar Tree Christmas bows. I've seen them. And they're velvet, red and green velvet. In fact, this time they had a little tiny bell sewed right there in the front. Like that. Okay, so this is how this ended up. And you can also put a little bird here or whatever you want. I have some buttons that I bought with different flower patterns and I've gone through about half of these already. But these were really pretty prints and it took a while for me to receive these, about four weeks, but I ended up getting them. And yes, I'll put a link to these as well. These are just wooden buttons and what you can do <clears throat> take your detail hot glue gun and run some glue like that and just stick it right here in the middle and look how cute that looks so you can do all kinds of things and this holds really well especially with the Gorilla Glue it stands up and holds really well and so the last thing you'll need to do on this is just get some uh, beading thread, a beading cord to, to make the, the little part where you hang, from the, hang it on the tree. Right. So let me get this out. Go some metallic. Thread. And this is really easy to do. Just cut off a length like so. See, I have it like that. And I'm just going to do this. I right, take those two end pieces. Flip it through the loop. And then do this. And then tie the top in a knot. And you can also put something clear on that knot, like triple thick or the Mod Podge one coat gloss, the gloss finish. Ah, look I don't know how I did it, but I tied a knot. <laughs> Pull. And like I said, you can put a little dab of anything clear on that knot. So you have what looks like this. So I thought it turned out really cute. And we're going to do a silver one next. And we'll do the, um, we won't be wrapping the pearls around it, we'll be doing it a little differently. So I'll show you that next. Okay, so the next wreath ornament I'm going to make is um, going to be silver, 
So I'm using this Dollar Tree silver miniature tree garland here. And I'm going to measure out about 26 inches of this. Like I said, it depends on how you wrap it as to where you end up. So um, this is another one of the Walmart shower rings that I'm using. And I was also told you could find these clear shower rings at the Dollar Tree. I'm going to hook it together like that. And just going to put some hot glue right here. And lay this on top, like so. I'm going to blow on it, make sure it sticks. Okay, hold it with my finger. And I'm just going to wrap this around like this, like I did originally. I'm not layering it one on top of the other, I'm just gently putting it right next to the um, first leaf that I made. See, I'm just laying it right next to it. And I'm going all the way around, like so. The Star Garland is pretty nice, it doesn't shed. It's a good quality. I sure hope they have more of it when I go back. Okay. Let's keep going around. And you can use buttons, little buttons to decorate it and make it look like the bulbs. You could use flat back rhinestones. And I have a seller who also makes these flat back, like sugar type resin pieces that are beautiful. I've listed this seller before, but I'll go ahead and provide a link for um, him in this video as well. And he sells them for practically pennies. Now I did look up the bird buttons that I told you about in um, the wreath that I made before this and the seller still sells them. They're pretty cheap. They're like 25 pieces for $1.56 with free shipping. She also sells them in 50 pieces for two, I believe $2.86 and 100 pieces for a little more than that. Now you do have the option it looks like you do have the option of paying um, for what they call e-packet and you'll receive it a lot sooner than the free shipping with the economy mail. So um, that's something to think about too and I think that the shipping was like two dollars and something cents. Okay so here we go we have this and this is the top but it'll eventually be the bottom. So um, I have different kinds of acrylic beads. I have these pretty colors here that I collected over a period of time at Michael's with my coupons. And I'm going to be using these today. And <clears throat> these are some little acrylic pearls that I bought a while back at this mom and pop type Dollar Tree. But unfortunately they're out of business now. Um, but I'll use a few of these. These are acrylic. They're not glass. You don't want to weight your um, ornament down. So I'll start at the top here. 
and I'm going to stick with pinks and blues and maybe a white in between Just turning it on its side so the holes don't show. And I'm, I'm making a space in between because I'm going to put um, a smaller pearl in between here. Here's a white one. There are different shades of pink. I think I'm going to be, oops, I'm going to glue that down a little better. I think I'm going to leave this part a little open for my bow. colors here for the bow if you wanted. You could use this pink one. That would be cute. Or you could use the blue. I think I'm since I'm going more towards the blue tone or trying to, I'm going to put the blue here. I'm not finished with um, the pearls yet, but I'll just set this aside. And of course you can also use the organza rib ribbon from the Dollar Tree. And glue that at the bottom, that would look pretty. Too. So I think I'm going to use about, about this size. Just kind of put that in between. Yeah, I got stuck on me. Well, crumb. And I know people will probably say, why are you putting on the pearl? Why don't you just put it right here on the wreath? And I'll say, because that's too easy. <laughs> there we go. a white one here, somewhere around here. There we go. And maybe a blue one. And then a pink one. So I think this will do, so I'm going to put the bow here, so let me put some hot glue back of the bow, and turn it around and put it right here at the bottom, I think that turned out cute. Now for one of my little birds. This is even here. There we go. Those little birds are so cute. She had other really cute um, buttons as well. Wooden buttons with prints on them. See this? <clears throat> Take my detail hot glue gun. Right here. 
Isn't that cute? So now I just need to put the cord up there. And I'm just using this iridescent beading cord that I picked up at Walmart a little while back. It's kind of a mess. I I kind of uh, I tried to unwrap it but nicely but it just didn't work out. <laughs> okay. So I'm just going to cut a length of this off. here and just slip this through the top and pull like so and then just tie a knot at the top with some clear triple thick or Mod Podge one coat gloss, something like that, to hold it the knot in. You can also use silver, but I just chose to use white. And I'm just going to take some of these little star things and kind of pull them out of that cord with a toothpick. Here, you know, just kind of pull the little stars out if I can, just to kind of yeah. maybe I should have used the silver instead of the white, but yeah, I think I'm going to do that because you can kind of see that cord, and I don't really want it to be seen so. Is the silver and I know my videos aren't perfect and I make mistakes and correct them in my videos but I'm a little different that way I guess than some of the other craft videos but you know it's good to know these things I don't think I've met a perfect crafter out there yet <laughs> okay yeah, see that looks a little better. And then that way I can just put this on. See, that's a lot better. You can't see it now. I don't know what I was thinking. I guess I wasn't. I'll do the same thing with this knot. Put some clear triple thick on it or something. I'm going to do that right now though. Okay. So here we go. I think it turned out really cute. Yeah, kind of a kind of a shabby chic look, I guess you'd say. So I'll go ahead and post these pictures on my blog, and um, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, by the way, if you have a chance, go to the Facebook page, The Sister Syndicate. They have some really, or Elaine who, who runs it has some really cute crafts and card making ideas. And um, she had posted some shabby chic crafts as well, and maybe I can ask her to update some of them on her blog. On excuse me, on her Facebook. Um, 
I would really love for you to see it. I'll go ahead and put the link down below in the drop down bar, the show more drop down bar, as well as on my blog. And thank you so much again, and I appreciate each and every one of you. God bless you. Bye bye.